diabetes training camp is a place for people with diabetes to come and train, learn, and connect. So we have a whole fitness multi-sport training program uh, for people to participate in. We have educational sessions throughout the course of the week uh, that include lecture formats, mm -hmm. some one-on-one -on -one counseling right. education regarding diabetes and exercise management. And then the crucial third piece of the puzzle is the connection where uh, a community develops in which like-minded individuals can uh, their own development uh, by sharing their own experiences and uh, needs as it relates to diabetes. And I'm a board certified endocrinologist and a certified diabetes educator. So my career uh, is in uh, diabetes and my passion has been uh, working with uh, those uh, who have type 1 diabetes and want to take it to another, another higher level in terms of integrating fitness and sports into their routine. Area that was especially rewarding to me, coupling exercise and the exercise sciences with the world of diabetes. There was a big gap there to me, a big void, and I thought that we could develop some programming that would uh, build a bridge uh, to that void and help uh, combine the two fields of the exercise sciences with diabetes management. There really is no prerequisite. You have to have no experience whatsoever. You could be a world-class athlete or you could be a non, complete non-athlete. The thing that we try to, to uh, integrate in is, first, fitness is important to everybody, if you're an athlete or a non-athlete. It's very important for your health, especially you know, for people living with diabetes. At this camp specifically, we have campers between the ages of 18 and 71 years of age. Some of our campers are interested in learning uh, fitness routines. Some of our campers want to learn how to run a mile without stopping. And some of our campers are training for half marathons, marathons, or triathlons. Uh, they really want to know, I, I want to exercise, but I'm afraid of going low, or I just am sick of chasing my numbers, and, or all of these questions that they have, and they come in with, um, and they get to come here and start answering some of those. I have a girlfriend who has diabetes and we both were going on um, 15 to 20 years with diabetes and we wanted to go somewhere and do something really good for ourselves. So we were looking at spas and but we couldn't find anything that had everything that we wanted. So um, this mutual friend of ours said that she had heard about this camp and gave us the information and we checked it out and um, decided we'd give it a try. So we went to the Oregon camp in 2009 and it was amazing. It was just the best thing I ever did for myself. About a year ago, to start doing some long-distance bike bike riding and started to find new challenges with blood sugar control doing that sport. So I had been talking to Matt, and uh, he was having some uh, amazing world-class um, biking coaches at this camp, and really um, it was very easy to convince me that there were probably some new things that I could try, and we could practice them here together. And Interestingly, most of the people uh, who come to camp oftentimes don't see themselves as an athlete and they, um, we, uh, we provide them with a survey and they indicate that they don't see themselves as an athlete coming in the door, but we try to teach them uh, methods to tap into their inner athlete. It's very individualized, like we, we, we try to understand each person's needs and try to fill that. Our thoughts uh, contribute to our feelings of confidence or our feelings of um, feeling nervous or anxious. Um, and so one of the things that we talk about at camp is that we have uh, a little monster on one shoulder and a little athlete on the other, and whichever one we feed is the one that gets stronger. And so Several of our staff uh, have diabetes. In fact, I think uh, at our current camp, two-thirds of the team live with type 1 diabetes. For a lot of people, it's the first time they've, for some, it's the first time they've ever met another person living with diabetes. Um, and for others, it's the, you know, it's, it's the biggest group of, um, of diabetics that they've been so with. They get so much out of the community that we build here at camp and being able to talk to each other and just bounce ideas off of each other and allow things to be normalized of what they're going through and the stressors that they have. The best, the best part was really meeting other people who have diabetes and are really interested in taking good care of themselves, struggle with the same things, and um, the whole team of people who run this camp 
um, become so invested in each individual and they just really encourage people to keep in touch with them and ask questions. It's the, it, it becomes, a, a, I see it as a lifelong relationship with, uh, with the whole diabetes training camp team.